Hi, I'm Ray Fremont Jr., Marketing Manager for General Air Products, and I'm going to tell you how to adjust the pressure on an SWP-60113-C pressure switch. The SWP-60113-C pressure switch is used on all of our LT-series lubricated tank-mounted air compressors. Each switch leaves our building factory preset for 30 PSI on and 40 PSI off, and they must maintain a 10-pound differential at all times. The key to adjusting the pressure switch correctly is knowing which parts you'll be working with. Begin by removing the cover. Note that there are pressure switch adjustment procedures inside the cover of every one of our pressure switches. The first part of the pressure switch I want you to take note of is the electrical connection terminals for incoming power and power to the motor. This is the pressure adjustment screw, which we'll be turning to adjust the pressure range as we move forward. And this is the differential pressure screw. Do not touch the differential pressure screw. Allow me to explain. When we talk about adjusting the pressure on a pressure switch, we're adjusting the cut-in and cut-out pressure simultaneously while leaving the differential pressure unaffected. When the cut-in pressure is reached, the switch sends a signal to the motor to run. When the cut-out pressure is reached, the switch sends a signal to the motor to turn off. When the differential pressure is adjusted incorrectly, these signals are sent too frequently, causing the pressure switch to fail or the compressor to short cycle itself to death. If you still think you need to adjust the differential pressure, please call us at 800-345-8207 to speak with a tech for further instruction. To adjust the cut-in and cut-out pressure simultaneously, you need to turn the pressure adjustment screw on the pressure switch. Now remember, adjusting the pressure switch is not an exact science. Some manufacturing tolerance should be allowed for. Start by turning the pressure adjustment screw one full turn only. Clockwise to increase pressure, counterclockwise to decrease pressure. Once you've made one full turn, let the compressor run. Check the closest pressure gauge to see where the pressure lands. Simply repeat this process until you reach the desired pressure setting. One last thing to remember, when you buy a General Air Products fire protection air compressor, you have access to technical support for the entire life of the unit. So if you have any additional questions about how to adjust the pressure switch or anything that arises around the air compressor, please feel free to give us a call at 800-345-8207. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks.